I'm kind of freaking out right now, to be honest with you. Man, when they do something, they do it right. I mean, that is just so awesome. Welcome back to Fabremove Detailing. In this video, you guys, we're finally gonna take a look at the new ceramic three-in-one wax by Griot's Garage. Let's do it. So you guys have been bugging me for a while to get a video out on this, and I have not ignored you guys, I promise you. But as you know, I'm still in the process of getting my garage completed, but we finally have nice enough weather that I can actually do a little bit of detail, and I needed to get something done on the journey. Uh, before we get this video started, if this is your first time on the channel, go down there and hit that little subscribe button, join the Fab family. We do detailing videos, product review videos, full detailing, paint correction, uh, videos just like this right here. Every now and then mechanical videos because I'm a mechanic full time. Hit that subscribe button. Also hit the little bell right next to it. So every time I upload a video, you do get notified. So the new ceramic 3-in-1 wax by Greer's Garage. A lot of you are saying, why is it called 3-in-1? It's Carnuba, it's got a sealant, and it's SiO2. This product has gotten great reviews all over YouTube. There's plenty of videos out on this product already. And I people keep telling me, you gotta try it, you gotta try it. You're gonna absolutely love it. I love all of Greer's Garage products. And, that, and I'm not being biased because if I ended up not liking it, I will tell you but this is not a sponsored video. I did pay for this product. I actually got this from Detailed Image when I made a Detailed Image order. But Griot's Garage was kind of like my first true love in car detailing. When I finally found products, it was like, oh my gosh, look what those did to my car. That was the Griot's Garage products that did that for me. And that's why I've stuck with them for so long. Yes, I use other companies' products, but I always end up going back, full circle, back to Griot's Garage. So I'm real excited to use this product, you guys. As you guys can tell, their bottles are the best bottles and sprayers on the market, in my opinion, hands down, as far as bottling and sprayers. This stuff is so good. And they, the scents of their products are also some of the best on the market, if not the best on the market. This product here is, is a spray sealant, silica spray sealant. You're gonna spray it on the surface. You're gonna wipe it in with a towel and immediately buff off. I will, I will read the directions, shake well, which I've already done. Here's the important part. This is very important. Apply it to a clean, cool, contaminant-free surface. Now the journey I did, use paint cleaning clay, my favorite clay, along with Speed Shine to decontaminate the paint. I did a chemical decontamination, I didn't make a video of that or the clay. And then I hit the whole car with Perfecting Cream by Griot's Garage, Boss Effect Perfecting Cream and a Perfecting Cream pad just to kind of exfoliate the paint so it will, this will adhere the absolute best possible. Few spots I had to use Fast Correcting Cream um, but other than that, the car is in really good shape, but it has no protection on it now because the ceramic coating that I had on it is gone. So I'm actually kind of happy about that because having a ceramic coating, I have been limited on what I can bring to you guys on this car. So now I can kind of bring whatever I want, like this product right here. So we're gonna apply this exactly how they say to do it. And then we're going to wait 12 to 24 hours. Tomorrow I will come out and we will do a second coat because they said, uh, for extreme durability, apply a second coat 12 to 24 hours after first application. Additionally, allow 12 to 24 hours before exposing to water, weather, or surf surface care products in order to achieve maximum durability. Now, they're not saying you, you can't get it wet, but they're saying for maximum durability, try your best to not get it wet. So it's going to stay in the garage. It's not even going to leave the garage except to show you guys what it looks like after the first coat. And then we'll let it cure until tomorrow and we'll put a second coat on it. Uh, use a clean microfiber towel. And plus, uh, plus edgeless, I'm not going to use that. I'm going to use Pearl Weaves right here from Rag Company. Um, and then it says flip towel over dry side and buff to a high to a high luster. Now I'm going to show you guys what the car looks like first so you can see. The gloss is insane. I, absolutely insane. I sent a video to Pan on Instagram and said, look at the gloss on this. I was, so, I was so excited. The gloss is so good. So as far as telling what this does as far as gloss, I don't know if we'll be able to tell a difference because the Griot's Garage Boss Creams are so good that you guys are just going to be amazed when you see this. Let me get the camera off the tripod. Let me show you what it looks like and we'll go from there. So I know that was a long intro, you guys. I apologize, but let's just get right into this. Look at this paint. The gloss on this paint is unreal. I'm hoping it's showing up on camera like it is in person. It is like glass. Well, it's so bad it actually messed my focus up on my camera. See, that? I'm still working on my garage. That's my air conditioning stuff I haven't got put up yet. Gloss is absolutely amazing. Here's a Griot's Garage Boss Perfecting Cream. Is the majority, probably 95% of what you're seeing. But I just wanted to kind of tickle the paint 
make it completely smooth so that the ceramic 3 wax has the absolute best possibility of adhering fully to the paint. And also just to bring the gloss out because it really brings the gloss out, perfecting cream does. So one thing I did forget to tell you guys, it does say it's safe on paint, wheels, chrome, plastic trim, and paint protection film. So it sounds like pretty much anything on the exterior, but it does not say glass. So we're not gonna test it on the glass because if it was good on glass, they'd probably put it right there. I do have Griot's Garage's glass sealant on all the windows of this car already anyways. All right, you guys, let's get to this. Now they do say that as you're going around the car, make sure you cycle your, your microfibers. You don't wanna use it oversaturated because you can get streaking. In a case that you do get streaking, I watched the video, Nick Greer is saying, if you do get streaking, lightly mist more on there, use a clean towel, and it should remove the streak. So I'll shake it up. I'm excited to use this. I can't say it enough. I've been so excited to use it, just had nowhere to do it. All right. Oh, come on. We're basically going to work it into the surface. Oh, that smell is really good. And then immediately bring it over. Oh, whoa, that is slick. Oh, that worked fantastic. That, I mean, the flash is, uh, I can't even talk. The flash is really fast. I mean, extremely fast, as you guys just saw. It is kind of warm in here. What is the temperature here right now? 80 degrees in my garage. But my gosh, that flashed really fast. It almost feels like I didn't apply anything. <laughs> and that is super slick versus that other side. Dang, that's freaking easy. I knew, I know Gria's garage held out on bringing anything ceramic or SI2 based out for a long time. That's because they make sure their stuff is perfect before they release it. And I love that about the company. Absolutely love it. That smells amazing. I actually don't even look like I need to even buff it off, to be honest with you. <laughs> that is awesome. Everybody said, Fab, you're going to love it. We want to get your idea on it, though. We want to hear your thoughts on it. Woo! That's my thought on it. Woo! Dang! This is freaking killer. The smell is, oh, amazing. Love their sprayers, they're always consistent, always the same pattern. I love the 22 ounce bottles too. I used to use the 35 ounce bottles and I kind of stopped using them. They're just too big on my, in my hands. And I don't have small hands by any stretch of the imagination, but. Oh. I mean, it really doesn't get easier than that, you guys, at all. No streaking. We'll really know when we go out into the sun, but I see none right now. These lights in my ceiling would really show you if there were anyways. So I have brought you guys in really close for this pass. Okay, we're just going to go like one, two, and we're just going to wipe it in. Basically, you're just spreading the product, flip it over. Oh, that is absolutely amazing. I'm kind of freaking out right now, to be honest with you. Man, when they do something, they do it right. I mean, that is just so awesome. I can see a gallon of this stuff in my future. Just don't tell Mrs. Fab that. <laughs> wow. Ugh, look, it's messing my focus up. It's just got, this, this car has so much gloss already. It's just absolutely amazing. Man, I gotta wear off this winter fat. Whew, man. Check it out. It was right to there when I started. So still got a lot of product left. 
I'm blown away and almost speechless. I really don't know what to say about it other than it's awesome. So easy to apply. It took me about 15 minutes to do the whole entire car. Took my time though. Took my time. But if you were in a hurry, you could do it in 10 minutes. But I don't recommend it on something like this. A product that you definitely don't want to get streaks with. You don't get streaks with any product, but you want to make sure you get a good foundation coat. All right, here you go, in the sun. This is where you'll see streaks. Because people do worry about streaks in SIO2 products because they can be streaky, and I see nothing. Can't see my screen. Hopefully you guys are getting this at all. I can't see the screen at all. Put on all the plastic trim. I'm going to put on the wheels. I haven't done that yet, but we're going to have dinner, so I'm going to get this part of the video done. Look at the trees in the hood. It has a lot to do with the polish, though. Boss polishes that I used. <clears throat> I mean, this looks stunning. Little glory in the in the reflection. chrome badging Put on everything other than the glass look at that that is amazing all right you guys so we are to day two now um yesterday when i was in here applying it it was over 80 in here right now it's just over 70 it's it's much cooler so we're gonna see what kind of application process, you know, what this, what this is like applying on a cooler surface than yesterday. I was absolutely blown away though yesterday as to how well this works, how user friendly it is. How about I should say that? And today is no different. And I can tell you the paint is slick. I mean, it is slick. I was feeling it before I turned the video on. Before I actually turned the camera on, I went around and I used my blow gun and got the dust all off the car. But man, that is, that right there is slick, you guys. Just a couple spots up here. This stuff is just unbelievable how, how like I said, how user-friendly it is. There's no reason for me to show you me doing any more than that. I'm gonna get this second coat done. We're gonna wait 24 hours. So when I get home from work tomorrow, today's Sunday. Um, when I get home from work tomorrow, we'll do a water test here in the garage probably. But it's been almost 20 hours uh, since I put the first coat on. All right, you guys, it has been well over 24 hours, more like almost 30 hours since I put the second coat on. It looks fantastic. I just went over with air to get a lot of the dust off of it. The paint looks absolutely amazing. I cannot wait to do this. See how hydrophobic it is. Once again, this test does not mean durability. This does not mean anything other than look at how awesome it looks and look at how well it repels water. So. Let's find out. Very, very good beating. Very good sheeting also. As you can see the water just wants to run right off of it. The beads are amazing, beads inside beads, but the water just wants to run right off of the hood, which is exactly what we want. We want the water off. That bead inside the bead is coming down the hood. Ooh. Let's do that again. So this time I'm gonna flush first. And then, let's see what happens. Let's flood this side. See how fast that sheets right off? Water just shoots right off when you, when you flood it. Let's go with a different setting. Let's go with a mist. Just to see if you get just a little bit of rain. Very, very tight beading. I hope you guys can see. Probably can't see that. Try to do it like this. See how tight those beads are? Those are amazing. This is such a great product, you guys. Oh, I'm loving it. Absolutely loving it. Let's see. Here's a flat spray. Let's try that. 
Look at how big those beads are when I do that. The way that that water just, I mean, it just comes off the paint. That is, that is a, that's amazing, Griot's Garage. You guys, you guys hit the nail on the head with this product. All right, let's see what it looks like on the side panel. Look at that. That water literally falls right off of it. Doesn't even want to stay on. I'll bring you guys down to the fender's height. There we go. Watch this. That is something else, you guys. I am so stoked. Let me do this. I just sprayed the wheel without even showing you guys the camera. And then we'll dry it. Watch this. I did the wheels too. Look at that. It tells the water nicely. This is. This right here, though, is stunning. I mean, that's, that's fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. Okay, I have compressed air for my air compressor. Let's see how well the water will actually come off the fender. <laughs> Look, at Look at that, you can do a touch free drying. Do it right here in front of you. Completely dry. So if you have a blower, if you don't have an air, an air compressor like I do, if you have a blower, you can completely dry your car touch free if you have this product on there. So I'm gonna take you guys for a quick walk around. This is after the water test, the sun's going down and I just noticed how awesome the gloss looks on this car. Once again, speaks volumes to their boss screams. As the sun's going down, it just looks absolutely amazing like glass. Just a quick walk around. And I'll get up really close to it. Look at that. That's where I'm going to do my ending scene right there. So when you make a product that that's easy to use, as you guys just watched the video, you have a winner. And this is a big time winner. This is gonna be a bestseller for Griot's Garage for a very, very long time to come. One of my absolutely favorite parts about Griot's Garage, you see that American flag? It is made in the USA. These are all made in USA, and they're all made about 30 minutes from where I live, in Plainfield, Indiana, just outside Indianapolis, Indiana. Uh, Indiana made product. A two thumbs up, Griot's Garage. You guys did your research. You didn't just come out with it really fast like everybody was when the ceramic stuff started hitting the market, the cer ceramic spray sealants and stuff like that. You guys actually took your time and you developed a big time winner and it shows when you use the product and, and it shows you guys took your time, you did your research, you did your testing. I'm sure Sam probably sprayed a ton of these bottles uh, trying to make sure it was just perfect and you guys should be proud of yourself. This is absolutely amazing product. I was almost speechless there for a little while and I'm still geeked out about how well the car looks, the hydrophobics of it, the ease of use. I just keep going back to that. The ease of use, because a lot of times when you have silica spray sealants, you can have a problem with streaking. Zero problem with streaking, and to be honest with you, after I wiped it the first time, I really didn't need to go back and buff it, but I did uh, because the directions say to, but it flashes as soon as you, as soon as you wipe it, so you're, you're Possibilities of streaking are very, very minimal unless you're oversaturating your towel and not swapping your towels out periodically. You're not gonna have an issue with streaking at all. Um, easy to use, great hydrophobics, all around, awesome, awesome, awesome product. I absolutely love it. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give me a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, join the Fab family. We'd love to have you, and we'll see you in the next video.